In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add your Amazon API credentials. So when you first log in and go to create your very first chart, it'll ask you to input your Amazon tracking ID, which of course you get in your Amazon Associates account. Now when you go to add products for your first time, you'll be prompted to input your Amazon Access Key ID and your Amazon Secret Access Key. This is something that you'll only have to do once the very first time that you use the software. So I'll show you two different ways that you might need to find that information. First, you'll need to log in to your Amazon Web Services account, which is where you'll find your Amazon API access information. Uh, the link will be provided just below this video if you're having trouble finding where to log in. And you use the same email and password as your Amazon Associates account. And so you already have that in place. Just go to that link and click continue to the security credentials. And then you click on this access key information. And if you have already created one uh, and only one, you can create a second one. And then of course get your access key information right here and you just copy and paste that in. And I'll keep that private, of course, since I don't want that shared all over the place. Um, if you're not using both of your API keys, you can delete one and create a new one, but I'd be careful doing that. Make sure that you're not actually using it. If you, on, if you already have two API keys, you can't create a new one right here, but there is another place that you can create one and use one. I will show you that right now. If you've already used up all your Amazon access keys and you can't for any reason retrieve your password, uh, you can still get the information that you need. Uh, you just go here to the IM console link and you'll need to create a new IM security profile. Once you are at the identity and access management page, you simply go to create individual IM users, click manage users, and then you can see all the users that you currently have. I've hidden those just for uh, privacy reasons. Uh, then I, all, all that you'll need to do is click add user. Click any username here that you want. I'll just title that table labs. Then under select AWS access type, click the first box, programmatic access. Then hit next for permissions. And then just uh, select create group. Then just select administrator access, create group. And make sure you have a group name. And then hit create group. Then you can go to the review and create user. And then this will show you at the end the access key, which the same uh, story here. You can copy that, paste that into table labs. That will be individual. That will be different for that user. And then here you can show the secret access key which is indeed needed. You copy that, hit paste into the Amazon secret access key, and when you hit update, it will tell you that you've successfully updated those credentials, and then you can begin searching. So you can come in here for your first product, running shoes, and that will then access the Amazon API to pull in the products from Amazon, the prices and everything else. So hopefully that tutorial video is helpful. There's two different ways that you can access that, but definitely by going through and uh, using the same login as your Amazon Associates ID, you can get into an, your AWS account and get the API credentials that you need. Thank you.